What's good? This is Paul Martinez with JamTheHype.com, man. I have the great honor of uh, being able to interview D.A. Horton. What's good, man? How hey, you feeling? I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed. Yeah, bro. So um, I know at one point you was part of Reach Life. Yeah. And um, now you're planning a church in L.A. Uh, talk to me a little bit about, uh, you know, your background and uh, where you're at now. Yeah. So, I mean, um, you know, the Lord, Lord gave me grace to plant a church and pastor in Kansas City, where my wife and I are from, uh, for a little under six years. And then he transitioned us out of that, which that's something we didn't think, uh, to be the executive director of Reach Life. So I was at Reach Life for a couple of years, began to transition out uh, a summer and a half ago, recognizing my call to L.A. And so, um, so before I transitioned, we, we dialogued about how Reach Life's momentum could be put into planting a great school in the trap of Atlanta known as Peace Preparatory Academy. Yeah. So shout out to Ben Washer, Cray, and Ben Wills, the brothers who are leading that charge. Um, and then uh, that's when I was focused now, man, on how we can be the model for Los Angeles to see a snapshot of heaven lived out here in the broken, fractured city of man. So that's the goal, man. That's what's up, man. So how do you feel about uh, urban church planning at the moment, like the state of urban church planners and urban church plan? Do you think we're doing a good job? How can we improve at, uh, you know, reaching the urban communities? You know, I was really I was really uh, encouraged by what I heard uh, Pastor Ephraim Smith said yesterday. Uh, he talked about how some of the churches in the urban context, because the church is on every block, it seems like, some of them actually really needed to die. Uh, and he didn't say it in a bad way. He said it in a shepherding, pastoral way. But he was very firm, like a prophetic voice would say, this is right, this is wrong, this needs to happen. But he challenged the churches that need to die to say, what would it look like to sell your building and give that to fund 10 church plants that wow. will engage the gospel with this community? So when I see that, I think that when we talk about urban church plants, and we also got to couple that with the reality of death and renewal and church renewal as well. And so I think one of the great things that our nation needs to see is local churches be brochures of heaven, whether multi-ethnic, multicultural, multilinguistic, all under the same philosophy of ministry, to see the church be a brochure of heaven. That when people walk into heaven after they embrace Christ and yeah. he calls us home, that what they see there is going to be the fully realized picture of the snapshot they saw on this side of eternity. And we need urban missionaries, man, not pastors only, but every believer seeing themselves as a missionary engaging in the spheres of influence God has given them space to walk in, clicked up in those healthy church plants and revitalizations. That's what's up, man. We got to be missionals.